registered dietitian with Sedona North Healing Arts. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how we metabolize caffeine in our next episode of Eating for Your Genes. So thanks for joining me for a casual cup of coffee. Did you know that your genotype can determine if you are a slow metabolizer of caffeine or a fast metabolizer of caffeine? Now you might ask, what exactly does that mean for me? Well, the Health Canada recommendations are 400 milligrams of caffeine or less for adults and for women in their childbearing years, 300 milligrams or less. But now with new research, we know that your genes can help give us a better picture of how you respond to caffeine and what your individual recommendations would be. So caffeine can be found in a wide variety of foods and beverages as well as hidden in certain types of medications or sports drinks, energy drinks, those kind of things. So I've got a few examples out here, chocolate, cola beverages, um, some teas, hot chocolate, and then my favorite, the cup of coffee. So based on your genes, we can show you here that this gene, the CYP1A2 gene, has a risk variant with the allele GA or AA. So for this particular example, if you possess one of the risk variants, that means that over 200 milligrams of caffeine per day may actually increase your risk of anxiety as well as high blood pressure and heart disease. Another example of this would be in the sports and performance report. Now we know that caffeine is often used as a stimulant now, as people that have the risk variant of the GA or AA allele, they actually do not recommend caffeine for sports performance because they would be the slow metabolizers of caffeine. So it's really quite interesting to see how our bodies all respond very differently. If you'd like more information on eating for your genes, don't hesitate to give us a shout and we would love to talk to you further. Thank you.